Unlimited motivation. How do we get unlimited motivation? Wouldn't that be nice? To wake up every day just motivated, motivated. And ultimately what you're asking is, how do I feel good, Alex? How do I feel like doing this thing that I really wanna do? How do I feel like working out, dieting, getting a six pack or growing a business or creating a beautiful relationship? Alex, how do I, how, tell me, please, how do I stay motivated like you? First off, I'm not motivated. I am inspired and there are my days where I'm just like, yeah, let's go, let's go. Well, the first step, look, I believe everyone does start off with some motivation, okay? I don't believe everybody starts off with discipline. Motivation is something nice. Motivation is something that feels good. Motivation is having hope, in my opinion. Like, you're like motivated to make a change. You're motivated to turn your life around. You're motivated to acquire something. And maybe that's a physique. For me, it was a physique. For me, it was, man, I wanna look like that. I wanna have some big arms. I wanna have a six pack. Ooh, man, like my buddy has big arms. He's got the cute girl. I really want that. That's where my motivation came from. I'm like, I wanna look jacked. And so when I realized that that became my motivation, I would look at other people who had what I wanted, which is where I drive my motivation from because if they could do it, it gave me the possibility in my head that I can do, I can do it too. And so that was the first form of motivation. So make a list, make a list. Number one, look at somebody. Maybe it's me, no, I'm kidding. You know, maybe it's somebody else that you idolize. A lot of you idolize or got motivated by Arnold, by like all these other people, you know? Find somebody that, you know, kind of motivates you. That's, that's one way, that's one way. We're gonna make a little list. So one way is finding someone that has the things that you wanna work towards. Number two, and this is probably one of the biggest motivations you will get, without a doubt. It's results. If I'm looking away, it's because I'm looking for my dog. I'm looking for Leon. And so, number two, it's gonna be results. One of the best motivators is seeing that your hard work is actually paying off. And I'm gonna give you a big, big tip that I see a lot of people mess up that they don't do that really could give you more motivation. Track your results. If you said, I'm gonna start working out, that day, go and take a picture like this, take a picture like this, take a picture like this, take a picture like this. Take a picture of of you, if you're gonna start working out, take photos. Don't just weigh yourself. Take photos, stay consistent. After two weeks, take some more photos. And that's, I'm assuming that they, you, you kind of change up your diet. Don't be a fucking idiot and start working out and have the same shitty ass diet. Okay, because you're doing, you're doing half the fucking work. So track results. Number two, when you when you start seeing your body fat go down, when we start seeing a little lump of your bicep, you're like, oh, I'm like, man, I'm getting bigger. This is actually working. That is insane motivation. Again, motivation is just a feeling. So you're gonna start feeling like, man, this is this is really working. Oh man, now I'm I'm getting closer to looking like the person I wanted to look like. Oh my god, like <clears throat> Alex is five seven, but he looks like he's fucking six foot. Oh man, look, I got my fucking bicep, I got my legs, I got my chest better, you know, after putting in that work. So that's the second motivation, I truly believe. Third piece of motivation, third way that you can stay motivated is looking at the other side. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say it's getting jacked. Do you wanna stay skinny? Do you wanna stay fat? Like, do you wanna not have the confidence anymore? Do you not, you know, like once you start getting your first results, you're like, damn, I never want to go back. That's motivation to going back to where you were, to who you were. That motivates me. I think about my, I don't want to be the Alex I was a year ago. Fuck no. What motivates me is not to be who I used to be. What motivates me is not being skinny. What motivates me is not being weak. I'm motivated to get stronger, to keep improving. So motivation also comes from not reaching where you wanna go. I don't wanna fucking go backwards. 
that motivates me to keep pushing forward. Because to me, going backwards is fucking the worst thing you can do. Going back to what you used to be like. Once you start making headway, once you start making progress, you never want to go back. Because you unlocked something new about life. Gotta look out for him. And so, number four. Number four is this, you'll start seeing people. You guys motivate me. You guys inspire me. Once the people around you start noticing your results, that's motivating. When people come up to you or they message, I get all these messages, yo, you changed my life, you changed my life, you changed my life, thank you so much. Oh, you're inspiring, you motivate me, you're inspiring. Because you have to understand, when you start doing things that most people aren't used to doing, you start motivating people. You start showing other people, you start becoming their motivation. And when you realize that you start becoming other people's motivation, it motivates you to keep going. It makes it that much harder for you to actually stop. One of the biggest reasons I post is to keep inspiring people, is to motivate people. And I know I can't fall off because it's not just about me anymore. It's about other people, you know? And which leads me, I don't say to my fifth one, but when you start getting more consistent with what you're doing and you're getting results, you're gonna start posting a little bit more. Maybe you'll start taking pictures again. Maybe you lose like 20 pounds, 15 pounds. Maybe you gain like a nice structure. Like I remember when I was growing up, I was like 16, 17, my buddy's brother who was older than us saw me. I'll never forget, we were at this little party and he looked at me, he's like, Alex. He was like, I think 20 at that time. I was like, he's like, you're looking pretty, pretty jacked, man. He's like, you've been working out? I'm like, yeah, I've been working out. And like, he was older than me. And even him, he was like, damn, I gotta give you credit, bro. You look kind of like you've been working out. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so once other people start noticing that you're motivating them, you're pushing them, that gives you more reason to keep going. Because you un understand, our life really becomes more when we help other people with what we've learned. That's why I do this. I love coming on here and talking to you guys. And even if, I always say to myself, if one person get something out of my videos, then I'm doing something good for the world. That's what means to me the most. I'm not here just to get a million views and things like that. My time will come, but for now, I enjoy motivating you. Yes, you, the one that's watching you, watching me. <laughs> I want you to feel motivated, but I want you to even evolve because motivation is like a Pokemon. You know, there's Charmander and you ultimately, Charmander, What's after Charmander? I forgot the second Pokemon. Oh my God, I forgot to talk about it. But anyways, Charizard. Charizard is discipline. Charizard is discipline. You are just salmon. So you're constantly evolving. And my goal for you is to get from that motivation to consistent to discipline. Motivation, consistency, discipline. The levels of greatness right there. All right? I love every single one of you guys. Go out there, crush it on this fucking Monday, and let's go.